Well, in Romans chapter 8, verse 5, this amazing chapter of the Bible, I just encourage you to read. If you want to uh, sow something in your heart and your mind today that is going to bless you, Romans chapter 8, I, I don't know that there's a better... There's, there's lots of great chapters of the Bible. Romans chapter 8 is one of them. It's a, it's a classic. It is an all-time great. Well worth your time. And in verse 5, Paul says this. He, he starts to unpack something for us about two different ways of living. The old way of living and the new way of living if you're in Christ. And He says, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. Those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the thing of, things of the flesh. Those who live according to the Spirit, their minds on the things of the Spirit. So then there's a question in there. What are the things of the flesh? And what are the things of the Spirit? And what does it mean to set your mind on them? Is this like something we actively do? If so, how do we go about that? I mean, there, there's a lot of good questions in there. Well, the, the, the things of the flesh, setting your minds on the things of the flesh, are the natural things. Those are the natural things that everybody thinks about. Everybody has their minds on. These are, the, these are just true across the board for people. The things our, our minds naturally gravitate to, especially things that are, are according to our sinful nature, our sinful desires. On the other hand, things of the Spirit are, are spiritual truths and things that nurture our souls and our relationship with Christ. These are things of the Spirit. So how do, we, how do we set our mind on the things of the Spirit rather than the flesh? I, mean, I think it's tremendously difficult. However, Paul asks us to do this. I think there's, there's things we need to guard what goes in our hearts and our minds. We need not be just passive consumers of information or music or uh, any of the ideas that are floating out there. We need to be actively sifting uh, things that, that come into our hearts and our minds. We need to be, we need to have a filter on that stuff. It's part of being, like, growing and being mature in Christ. That's on the, the negative side. And on the positive side, we need to fill our minds and our hearts with that which is is good, is spiritual, you know, one thing I found uh, on this is I, I find it impossible to worry and fret about something or be angry about something and pray about it at the same time. Like, those two things don't go on simultaneously for me. So one of the ways I can set my mind on the things of the Spirit is instead of worrying about something, fretting, like rehearsing it over and over, being angry about it, uh, I can take it to God. My Father, who loves me, who has everything in His hands already. So set your mind not on the things of the flesh, but on the things of the Spirit.